Hello everyone. Good morning to you. I am going to give you a little makeup tutorial this morning. I hope that you all enjoy it. Also, please let me know what you want to see in the future. Comment, like, subscribe, all of the above. Give me some love down below. I will give you links to all my social media and my website and I look forward to hearing from you. Um, today I am wearing one of my spa headbands. This is gonna just keep the hair out of my face. Um, I wear this one from time to time. It was like my favorite when I got it. I think when I turn it around, it looks almost like Minnie Mouse ears from a distance, um, but it is an OMG product. They make wonderful face masks. Um, and yeah, it comes in black and pink if you're interested in getting it. So I'm going to start by washing my face because I still have last night's moisturizer on. I use a jelly mask in the evening, so it's a little bit like richer of a texture. I definitely want to wash it off and start over before I put on my makeup. So I'm going to use my RE9 Advanced Prep Work. This is the cleansing polish. I'm just going to put about a pea size amount in the palm of my hand, turn on my water, get the other hand wet, and emulsify before I apply it to my face. Just working it around circular motions, scrub a dub a dub, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it away. That's all it takes, really easy. You don't have to be overly aggressive with this product. It does have little molecules in it that help to exfoliate the skin, and it is a very easy to use product. Again, that's the polishing cream. I'm just gonna go face off. My next step is going to be to use my serum. I like to use the serums right after I cleanse. Some people um, add in extra steps. I think that when my skin is freshly uh, cleaned and dried, that it is the perfect time for it to absorb what I want it to take in the most, which is my Calm Soothing Serum. These are all my Arbonne products, vegan and cruelty free. And there's gonna be a link down below if you wanna check out the product line. Please comment and let me know that you're interested in, in the products though because a lot of times I offer special deals. So I wanna make sure that I give you guys that nice advantage that you get for shopping with me. So here is my serum. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the dropper at the top and that'll take all the product into that tube. Then I lift it out of the container, and as you can see, I have a full tube. I'm gonna take that product and I'm just gonna dispense it around my face in little droplets. All over. And I basically use the entire thing. So that's all you do for the initial part of applying the product. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your fingers and you're just gonna lightly tap it around your face. You're just trying to move the product around so that it'll absorb into the skin. It's not something that you need to be overly aggressive with. So you just tap around the face. Tap, tap, tap and it'll absorb in. I can feel it, it's already working, nice and hydrated. The next thing I'm gonna do is my RE9 Advanced Prep Work Hydrating Dew Cream. Here it is. And this stuff a little bit goes a long way. You only need about the size of a pea. A lot of the products, you really only need the size of a pea. They last a good amount of time. I've had this one for a while. I actually already got another value kit of this line and I haven't opened up the moisturizer because I'm still working on this moisturizer. So this is about the amount that I'm going to apply. I'm going to just kind of smooth it around my hands and then I'm going to tap it into my face. Okay. So now all my hydration is on and the next step is going to be to put on my primer. So I'm going to go with my makeup primer 
here. I love this stuff. It has a nice slip and glide and it gives my pores a nice more even appearance when I put on my foundation. It kind of just holds the place of that depth. So I'm just going to take one pump boop, onto the back of my hand and I'm going to use my foundation brush to apply it. Here's my liquid foundation brush. This is again a vegan and cruelty free product. It's something you can get on the site. You can actually get this in a package of all the brushes. That's how I got mine. And then there's certain ones that they have that they sell individually, like the uh, mineral makeup brush um, for the mineral foundation. And then they also have a concealer brush that I have in the mail right now. Um, I have one of the more common skin colors that are used by the line. So right now they are out of the two shades that I would consider to be close to my foundation. And that does happen, like I've been waiting on certain products with my product line. So it's important when you're purchasing, if you already know that you like the product, go ahead and get two. Because our products don't have one of those shelf lives that like it's been sitting on a shelf for like two years. We actually run out of the product. So it's one of those things like ready-made. When they run out, they'll make more. There's just certain ones that are really popular and hopefully they like get the message and they start producing a higher volume when they get it. But it's just one of those things like yesterday I purchased a hoodie from James Charles sister apparel. Um, by the way, I recommend checking out his videos. I think he's wonderful. Um, but he put out a new line of his hoodies and they were all like these solid rainbow tone colors. I think he did it in honor of Pride Month. And let me just explain to you what I'm doing while I tell you about James Charles. So this is uh, the perfect liquid foundation and I just put one pump on the back of my hand and that is plenty. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face. I usually take the brush and just like dab it into the color and then just apply it and then blend later. Um, but I'm gonna continue to tell you about this hoodie that I got because I'm so excited. So my hoodie was supposed to be like in my imagination I was gonna get the pale pink color and I was waiting for 12 o'clock noon to purchase this item because it, he was launching it so yesterday on June 25th he was launching his line at 12 o'clock and I got on at like 12 10 right and I'm thinking sweet I made it like I didn't wait until this evening I'm gonna I'm gonna get the product I get online and wham, pale pink is gone. And it's not even the only one. Like he had half of his line already sold out. Like not just that the color was gone, all the sizes were gone. There was no way that I was gonna get pale pink 10 minutes after it launched. I really hope that in the future with his merch, he has like a greater supply when launching because I want the color that I want, right? Like who doesn't? I was looking forward to it. I'd been like pre-shopping and anyways. I wanted the other ones too. Like there were three or four colors that I thought were pretty cool. And so what I did is I went ahead and decided to get one that kind of goes better with my product line. They use a lot of green and because they're vegan and cruelty free, green is like one of their main colors. So I went ahead and I got forest green and it's sister apparel and I think it's super cute. And it's one of those colors that I like on me. So I'm looking forward to it and Again, I can't wait for him to come out with more. I really did want a pink one. I really, you guys, I hope he comes out with ones that are like bedazzled or glittered or like iridescent print. Um, it's a super cute hoodie. It says sister all over the place. That's his thing, sister apparel. It says sister all the time. He's into us all being sisters. Anyways, check him out. Check out his apparel. I think everything's super cute. Um. Now we're going to do concealer because foundation is all over. So here is Light Concealer by Arbonne. This, um, this hasn't become my favorite product yet, but it's up there. Like this is my top three. And it's because it's something that's so good for your skin. It's kind of like putting on a mask, like a mineral mask of just delicious vitamin rich things that are good for you. So I'm putting it in my under eyes, along my chin, along my nose, around my nostrils especially. My nostrils get a bit red. 
and up on my forehead. So you just want to put concealer everywhere where you want more coverage. And I'm going to go ahead and blend around my chin. If I were to be doing a bold lip color today, I would want to conceal my lips even more than I'm doing. I am getting close to where they are just for blending purposes. But if you're going to do a bold lip color, like whether it's red or purple or even black, you want to conceal around your lips, even powder, do everything you can to kind of create a nice barrier so that your product that you apply to your lip isn't going to blend into your foundation. Having that like muddy lip look is, it's not what you're going for, right? You're putting on lipstick to put it in that one specific place. So you've got to do what it takes to keep it there. Okay, mostly blended out my concealer. Now I'm gonna just do my under eyes. You guys, when you apply things like foundation and concealer, you want to try to work in a downward motion as much as possible. If you do it in like circles or you go in an upward motion, you can end up clogging your pores, which no one wants to do. No one's like, oh yeah, let's clog my pores. That's a good idea. Ooh. Ooh, so I can have blackheads to play with. No, no one does that. So. Try to apply your product in a downward motion. Okay, so now the only place where I don't have anything on is my eyelid, and I am gonna put on my eyelid base, but what I'm gonna do is take the rest of the concealer that's on my brush and just put it in my under eyes. I mean, under my brow. And like, that's a trick of the trade too when you, um, when you do your brows, if you conceal just below them, you can create a very sharp line that gives you a stronger brow appearance and um, like a more polished look. And uh, so little, little goes a long way with the concealer and you can use it to do many things. And now I am concealed. So I have plenty of foundation, plenty of concealer. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contour my face just to bring back that shape and definition. So I'm going to take my cheek brush from Arbonne and my bronzer and I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dab it in a couple times. That's all it takes. Then you start up here near your ear and just make a nice line underneath your cheekbone. You're going to then go up above your eyebrow and down along your jawbone. You're kind of creating the shape of an E or a three and you're going to do that on both sides. And all that does is highlight by giving you a shadow. So you're creating the shadow underneath the bone structure, which then in turn accentuates the height of those bones. You're also making your face have like a thinner appearance. So again, back into the bronzer, couple dabs, start close to your ear and work just underneath your cheekbone, up above your brow bone, and down along your jawline and blend it in, in an E or a three shape, however you see it, an E or a three. And that's all it takes. Now that isn't like the extreme of working with multiple brushes and trying to really contour the face. That's just like basic, easy to do everyday makeup. So I am going to now put on my blush. Blush is always one of my favorites. I am enjoying these products. I have two of them currently and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go with my bolder look and this one is Merlot. Merlot is a red tone blush. This one will look wonderful on every skin tone like literally the fairest to the darkest. Here it is. It's very rich and beautiful called Merlot. I'm going to apply it to my brush. I'm going to smile to find the apples of my cheeks. When you find the apples of your cheeks, it's the height. It's the peak of your cheek when you smile. So right here is where I want to apply my brush and then I'm just going to blend it in. So tap it into your product, find the apples of your cheeks, apply directly to the apple of your cheek and blend in. The biggest thing with blush is making sure you get it even on both sides. So I did a very light application of my Merlot and I am going to put on more, but as you can see, it did give me a nice rosy glow. And 
again, putting it on the apples of my cheeks and just blending, trying to make it even on both sides. There we go. So my next step is to put on my eyelid primer. And I like to use my eyelid primer because it keeps my uh, eyeshadow on all day long. So you don't have to use this to keep the products on, but it does change the appearance. Like the depth of your shadow is really noticeable. So try out this primer. It's another one of those products where it's really good for you. It's vitamin rich, filled with healthy minerals, and it's just like putting a treatment on your face all day long. If I could sleep in this stuff, I would. I just won't because I don't want to get my sheets dirty. Okay, so I just put a little bit of the product on with the applicator and I'm gonna take my finger and blend it in. Okay, now it's applied all over my eyelid. I am now going to, um, I'm going to put on my eyeliner before I put on my eyeshadow. I am. I'm going to put on my eyeliner. So this is Carbon, and it's, it's a fine line by Arbonne. And what I do is I work it into my waterline. I'm doing this kind of freehand looking into the to the camera here but I just want you guys to see how to apply it so you don't have to be too aggressive with with your waterline you're just trying to apply the product as close to your lashes as you can from the top I also apply liner from the bottom I use a brush usually because I like to use the powders it also helps to set this kind of liner in place because this is such a like a wet product it can again blend like lipstick does so using a powder to set any part of your makeup is an essential if you want it to stay in place so eyeliner in the waterline we are done with that I'm going to pick my eyeshadow what do you guys think we have volume 2 which is pinks and stone tones and then we've got volume 1 which are like yellows all the way to um, reds very natural warm like nature earthy colors comment below and let me know what you want to see in the future for eyeshadows i have been doing um like what i would consider to be minimal effort when it comes to my eyeshadow i would like to show you guys more techniques um and maybe focus the entire video on eyeshadow so leave me comments below if that's what you're looking for I want to make sure that I'm tailoring my videos for you because are watching you're the watchers you're the subscribers so I want to entertain you um I think I am going to go with the more earthy tones today rather than the pink tones so again that's volume one and here are the colors they're very vibrant these are again they're all vegan they're all natural they follow FDA standards of like international supreme FDA standards. It's ridiculous how healthy this stuff is for you. And the link below to my website will give you an opportunity to get these products. Again, comment and let me know beforehand so I can get you guys good deals. It is like a thing that constantly changes. So like I can't exactly give you like a $10 off like hashtag like, oh, put this coupon in there. That's, that's not how it works. We need to get connected so I can make sure that I get you guys the best opportunity that we have at the time being. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my eyeliner and I'm going to use this fun color red rock. In my opinion, that's like the most vibrant of this palette. So I'm going to use red rock and I'm going to make it uh, into my under eye liner. So I'm just going to take my slant brush with my red rock and I'm going to push lightly into my lash line from the underside. So my goal is really to get right into my lashes. 
there we go. And I'm going to do the other side, just pushing into my lash line. Okay, so now my eyeliner's on. In the daytime, I, well, I like to only put it on the bottom. In the evening, I'll put eyeliner on the top, but I think it gives, like with my eye shape, it gives a bolder appearance, and I don't like to look um, too aggressive in the day. I, I try to look more approachable, which I recommend to everybody. Be more approachable, opens up doors and windows and opportunities into your life, so be more open. Um, what I am going to do next, though, is do fog. I keep thinking I might want to do sand or caraway, but I'm going to go with fog today, which is going to give my eyelid like a white appearance. And I'm using my all over eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to take fog and apply it directly to my eyelid. So I'm not working it into the socket. I'm leaving that bone area alone. This is also a color that I like to use as my highlighter. Like I use it in the corner of my eyes and just below my eyebrows. Today, I'm going to use it as my main color on my eyelid. And I'm also going to use it as my highlighter. So after this, I'm going to take my shading brush the smaller of the two. I'm going to work it into fog and I'm just gonna lightly apply it below my brow. This is just to create a nice highlight so that my brows look more defined and it also helps to blend it in with the rest of the eyeshadow. I did put on that primer so that it should have a nice tech, tacky texture to attach to so it'll last all day long. I'm gonna go back to my all over eye shadow brush and I'm going to use Juniper. Juniper is this color right here. It's almost like a silvery metallic. And I am going to use that as my uh, blended color. A lot of times people like to use a lighter color to blend or they're blending in multiple colors. I'm literally blending in fog that's almost the color white. So I'm gonna use Juniper to create some more depth in my eye socket area. And I'm literally just following the bone as I apply it. Like that is my goal of where I'm trying to apply the product, just directly to the bone in my eye socket and work it back and forth. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the brush and I'm gonna work it in a circular motion. And this is gonna help it to blend into the eyelid and also to the highlighter. There we go. And now I'm gonna do that on the other eye. Again, just applying it to the eye socket bone. And then blending it in a circular motion. There we go. So now my eyeshadow is done. I need my mascara. And I'm going to use Speaks Volumes, my favorite mascara from the line. It doesn't take a lot to get a good even application. Just one swipe through all your lashes and you get a nice voluminous even coverage. And because of how healthy these products are, it's like you're putting a face mask onto your lashes. I have recently noticed that I am not getting fallout like I have before with other mascara products. I think it has to do with the hydration that I'm receiving from this mascara. Other mascaras in the past might have had like alcohol or different ingredients in it that would have caused uh, dehydration to the hairs themselves. Uh, they do naturally fall out on their own though. There's uh, science behind why you're hairs fall out so don't worry it's natural it's the hair cycle but with this stuff they seem to be holding on and being very happy little hairs <laughs> okay so 
that way speaks volume mascara and now we're moving on to my favorite product and um, this is it's probably the cheapest of all my cosmetics but it's honestly my favorite right now it's called shape it up and it is the brow cream the tinted brow cream I have it in light medium and it applies with what looks like a shortened mascara wand and all I do is coat the hairs of my eyebrows and work them in an upward direction and a little because I need to I need to fix them they're kind of caterpillary right now so they're a bit long so what I do when I'm done is I take my finger and I just kind of swipe it along the top and it puts all the hairs right into place this works better than like what did I say it's a cream right yeah I've had gels before I've used clear mascara I've used a lot of different products that at the time I was like oh this stuff is awesome this is like the best that I've used so far. It's so good for you too. So you just again want to apply it to all your hairs and apply it in an upward motion. There we go. You can already see it makes a huge difference in, the, in being able to see my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take my finger just to move all the long hairs that are kind of out of place and it's just going to push them right into line and because it's got that product on it I want to do that immediately so that as it dries it kind of holds it in place in about a minute or so they'll be nice and dry and they'll stay like that all day long it's so much fun to see the difference Ooh, look I have an eyebrow I hardly have an eyebrow I have an eyebrow I hardly have an eyebrow big difference favorite Okay, so now I'm going to do it to the other side. Ooh, I just found a really long hair. I'm just a bit apprehensive lately to do a lot of self-grooming since I've been in COVID. I've been kind of like, not necessarily letting myself go, but I'm like reassessing all the things that I'm doing and I want to do what's healthiest for me. So I've been like letting things grow out, especially like my eyebrows. And recently I got this product that's sugaring paste. Let me show it to you guys. Um, I saw a DIY and I've heard about it before, like at cosmetic spas, but I'd never done it before. So I ordered this paste and I tried it. I really like it and I'm planning on ordering more. I got the kit. So this is like the smaller of the containers. This is what the product looks like on the inside. So it's almost like working with a cool wax that heats up to your skin temperature, but I'm loving it. It's a wonderful product. It doesn't necessarily remove every hair right away, but again, we're all stuck inside during COVID and I let it grow out. So um, I'm just taking my time and getting it all off. And then the way that it grows back is like slow and sparingly. So it kind of has like a similar effect of waxing. And if I maintain it, I'll just always have less hair. And I'd rather have that than like cutting myself with razors. I can't stand cutting myself with razors. And um, also uh, with the wax that I've used in the past, I've heard wax isn't that great for you. I still want to use, like there's certain places where I'm like, that would have been a lot easier if I had had my wax. But I'm just learning brand new at it. And it's something you can do yourself or you can go to the salons and get it done and it's ultra healthy for you. It's sugaring and literally like the ingredients is sugar, lemon, water, and they boil it. They almost like caramelize the sugar and then you can use it as a wax in type of a product. It's and it's like old school. It's like something they used to do a really long time ago. It's vintage. <laughs> okay. Getting back to our makeup. I am going to put on my lip liner and this is Tulip. I picked Tulip because it's a very natural color and I'm just going to lightly apply it all around my lips following my natural lip line. I'm not overdrawing at all, especially because this is again the day look. So I'm just following my lip line and I'm going to do my cupid's bow, but I'm not gonna do my peaks. I'm gonna leave my peaks alone. That's something I like to do during my day look, and especially while I'm doing a more natural color lip. 
I think it creates a more pouty effect, like a fuller, plumper looking lip. I'm going to go with Lily. Lily is the lipstick I am choosing, and it goes great with Tulip. It's almost the same color. Again, a very natural looking color, and it has a bit of shimmer to it. And just apply your lipstick all over. Mmm, it's so delicious. Again, very healthy, very good for you. I love putting it on all day long. So, that is my makeup for the day. And I am ready to say goodbye to you guys. I don't want to, but I'm ready to. So go ahead and like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see in the future videos. Let me know if you want some of my products so I can hook it up. And I will talk to you soon. Like, subscribe. Bye, you guys.